way every 30 days. So we can keep going and get done what we want to get done, but what we're doing is, is stretching that money out where it might end in, in um, let's say, September 1st, and we stretch it out, and then we're paying up until uh, November or something like that. So by stretching it out, we can do a lot more, and we're getting a lot more miles done that way. If we had to stop right where, boom, you're done with your materials, um, we're going to be stopping at uh, 30 or 40 miles instead of 75 miles of work that's getting done. And all, and all I wanted to do today, how, however it comes out, is I want to make sure we don't lose the driver. Um, the best way I saw to accomplish that was to, to have the MDH money that we're now paying for the engineer and see if we couldn't get the engineer paid with uh, general funds, which is obviously allowable. But if we can do it all and keep our driver... Um, and not have to mess with the other, That's that accomplishes it, everything? Up until a year ago, I think, uh, we paid the, the highway engineer out of general fund. Correct. And where did we that from? Reverse that. Well, well let, let's, let's don't forget the reason he's where he's at is because of the grant. That's what right. I'm getting at. The the so, the yeah, we don't, so I just don't think we want to throw away it. What a twenty thousand dollar grant or something. Yeah. Well, no, but, but but we're not by leaving him in the in the highway fund. We're not we're not saying put him in the general fund. No. We're saying leave him in the highway fund. Okay. Now you're not messing around with okay. twenty thousand. I, I thought you just said put him in the general fund. No, no, no. no. We, he you it used to be, and we paid a part That's out of one and part out of the other. I, I, and we converted it over to the highway department. Whatever the vernacular is, we just don't want to lose a grant. Right. Yeah. That's right. Well, and that's the reason he's there. So. Basically, I think what Mike's saying is we're paying something like forty thousand dollars out of the motor vehicle fund towards his salary that we used to pay out of the general fund. He'd like to have that money in the highway department to exactly. keep him happy. Exactly. Rid of a truck driver. I also, at the end of the day yesterday, ran a year-end thing. There are receipts for the highway for just two ten. That's not local roads and the street. The other one, they receded for twenty. Sorry, eleven. 2.388 million and they spent 2.341. So their budget should be for the 210, which is where he's making his cuts, should be approximately what the DLGS said about 2.1. If you put the, he wrote it down here, if you take the 589 that um, is on there, add back in the 35,000 for his truck driver, you get the 554. You add it back in rather than subtract it. But you need to subtract, yeah, you need to add it. And then add the 133. It'll still come out at about 680, which is what he was supposed to cut out of the budget, is what I came up with last night. I'm looking at these, oh, you're familiar with this sheet. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking at, and I don't get any year-to-date figures for like last year, what you may have spent last year, just yeah, what you've spent so far this year. Mm -hmm. But you took down your, um, a lot of your materials, stone, gravel, culverts, tires and tubes. The ones that, like your garage supplies, you knocked 35000 off of that. I mean, it just, there are a lot of cuts here. Are you, are you sure that you're not going to be coming back? And, I mean, you can't be sure. sure. Well, and, and that's a very good question, but um, the, ex the good example is, that's part of the 500000 or whatever we took out last year, and we did not come back in for one additional last year. Okay. So it's, the exact, it's basically the exact same thing, uh, which I would say, no, I don't. We can make that work. We can, we can make transfers and, and work within our budget and not come back in for additionals. Um, we do have, right now, I think Jim said yesterday, about $250,000 of, of actual cash money which is uh, kind of the bottom line of your checkbook, so to speak, and you, you try not to spend that, but if you do, you can come back in for additionals, and you, you do have some of that money to spend, but really, 250 is kind of a bottom line. I'd really not, I'd like to see the highway get below that number. In other words, spend the money that, that whatever our check is for gas tax, hope that, that keep your claims at the same rate so that you're not spending any of, of, your, of your cash money. And there are months where you get in so much money from gas tax and try to keep your claims lesser than, 
So you're adding to that that bottom number, and really would like to build that up to 300,000. But still, the whole thing comes down to the the the, the wages um, of the two. At least that's where I see it at. And uh, um, if, if the general fund can't afford the 45, then I certainly <coughs> understand that. And maybe based on what Jin's saying, we can still keep our, our driver and maybe we'll, we'll be okay at the end of the year. Okay, I have one final yeah. question and then I'll quit. Um, <clears throat> so if, if you've been able to come through here and, and cut out a lot of these line items, why didn't your budget come to us like this to begin with last summer? Uh, because I turned it, as I said, I turned it into Karen and say, make no changes. Leave it like it was. So she looked at it as what we had before, or we had to make the cuts, and which was 2.7 okay. instead of 2.2. And then, it, I mean, it went through the auditor's office that way. Nobody caught it. It, okay. it came down so here and went through all this. Just a mistake, basically. Okay. Yeah, it, we really should we, have started at 2.2. We told them to turn them in exactly like 2011, but what only thing we're supposed you, to change You missed the cut. You missed the 2011 cut. Right. 2010, okay. actually. October of 2010. Okay. And actually, in our mind, at the highway, we were thinking, okay, we we made this cut, and we did that. We should be done with that now. Now we should be able to go with our budget and go again. But then they come back and say, no, you need to be back where you are. You need to be back at 2.2, and always start at 2.2. And uh, um, didn't really think about that at the time. Then it kind of went through everywhere. Paul, Ends up as a final I budget. That. Oh, that's okay. I'm just. There's just a lot of significant reductions here. And yes. I gave you the year. We'll be watching for it this summer. <laughs> so basically, what we're, getting, what we're getting down to, according to Mike, he needs forty-five thousand dollars for the general fund to maintain his employment level. You, you, the commissioner, you, you talked to them yesterday, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I went through the exact same thing with them. Don, you got any comments? Make a... No, sir. We have a motion for these additional subtractions. I'll make a motion. Give us a forty-five thousand. Is that is that correct? Yes. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any additional discussion? Those in favor of the motion, signify by your right hand. Those opposed to say. Thank you very much. I just have a comment from Mike. I had a uh, person tell me uh, in the last couple of days that uh, they were going to do some work on his road, and Tim uh, Blake came up to his door and knocked on the door and told him what they was going to do, and he really appreciated being informed like that and said that all the years he lived there that he's never had anybody ever stop and, and do that before. And he thought that was good, and I think it's good PR that, that they did do we, that. We, we had a, thank you very much, we, we had a little problem um, that that um, you learn by each time, you know. We tell our guys to. Is, I'm going to go to the people that cut brush for us. We we tell those guys if it's anywhere close to the right of way line, don't make the cut. Go to the home, bring them out, make sure. But those people aren't always at home. Um, we had a letter to the editor uh, lately, and uh, and I and I had talked with the lady and. Um, our guys made a mistake there, as far as I'm concerned. Now, the cuts I went out and looked at, there's only four or five cuts. They were very close to being exactly on the right-of-way line, but at that point, we'd say, go check. The lady wasn't home, so they went ahead and they made the cuts, and as far as I'm concerned, that's, that's our fault. Now, the end of this came, and talking with the lady on the phone, she said, my tree's not going to get any apples because of those four or five cuts you made, and, and I'm going to have a tree with no apples. And she says, will you bring me two bushels of apples if my tree has no apples? And I said, yes, ma'am, I will. So we have a deal right now, and I'll be watching that tree <laughs> with a camera. And uh, it might cost me two bushels of apples, but I, uh, uh, sometimes you, you have to do what you have to do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, Thank you. We're going to skip around a little bit. I understand, uh, Don, you have an appointment. So we'll go on with the commissioners. Do you want to include Denny and Mark with? I do. All right. In fact, let's just.